on a couch. On a couch in a closet. Dang. On a on a couch. On a couch. On a couch. The one kid. One of our nominees for Best Original Musical this year was Girl from the North Country, uh, with music, a jukebox musical, music by Bob Dylan, and the book was written by writer-director Connor McPherson. Uh, the show is about a owner of a boarding house in uh, Duluth, Minnesota during the Depression um, and all of the folks who come to stay there. Everybody's very down on their luck. They are wearing earth tones and just very sad and full of pain and loss and it's kind of about how this community copes with all of that. Um, structurally, the show reminds me a lot of Cabaret or I guess to a lesser extent Chicago in the sense that the songs are not really plot driving. That There's not a ton of a plot anyway. It's an ensemble character driven piece um, and the songs kind of don't really exist in universe. They kind of step out and you just hear them sing about the way that they're feeling, maybe in an abstract way that you kind of have to see the show to see how it relates back to the story of it all. Um, that being said, beautiful show. Um, everyone seems to like it a whole lot. It's got a stellar, phenomenal cast. Some of my favorite voices on Broadway in the show. Um, just doing some really great work. I'll say that as someone who doesn't care for the voice or music of Bob Dylan, um, to hear it with these voices in this way, I found it gorgeous. I, I found the poetry and the lyrics that I'd never been able to hear before, um, and so much of the music has become something I, I love listening to. I think it's very, very good. Um, I, it opened in London a couple years back now, and then played off-Broadway and then on-Broadway now. Um, I listened to the London recording plenty of times, excited to hear the new Broadway version with Colton Ryan, my man, um, and, and the stellar American cast. Uh, so I think it's a, a really good show. Very glad to see that it was well represented in the nominations this year. Girl from North Country earned seven nominations this year, including Best Musical, uh, Best Book of a Musical by Connor McPherson, Best Direction, also Connor McPherson, uh, Best Sound Design, Simon Baker, Best Orchestration, Simon Hale, uh, Best Performance by a Leading Actress for Mayor Wingham, and Best Performance by a Featured Actress for Jeanette Bayardell. Unfortunately, I don't know that this show is going to win very much. I think the performers, both performances were excellent, um, especially Mary Wingham as the lead, very, very good. Um, I don't know that either of them were enough to, to clinch the win, especially in such an ensemble-based show. It's a little hard to pull someone out. Um, uh, the book was also good, but, but maybe not compared to some of the other work we've seen. Direction as well, I think it was very well directed don't know that it's going to beat some of the more innovative stuff that we've seen this year. Um, if anything, I think it has a shot at sound design and orchestrations. I truly think it ought to win best orchestrations. As I said, I think what they did to, uh, to this music, to Bob Dylan's music, makes it so much better and that goes all the way to Simon Hale's orchestrations. It's just beautiful the way these songs have been reimagined. I do know that orchestrations tends to kind of get lumped into some of the other uh, content awards to book and score and all of that stuff, so I'm afraid it's not going to get the recognition that it deserves, but I hope it wins Best Orchestrations, and heck, sound design, why the heck not? I say go for it. So, in my pick, you'd probably get both of those, um, but I can't say that I'm confident that it will. Alright, uh, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you for watching. Uh, please feel free to check out our other videos for our other shows, and uh, I'll see you on Tony Night. Stay couchy.